Hey, Junior High, how are you? So I hope you've had an opportunity to watch the additional videos that I posted with this week's videos for the whole school. Um, on these videos, I talk about the famous sidewalk chalk artist as well as a water technique that I want you to combine with the chalk. If you have not watched those videos, stop this one and please go back and watch those. So I'm going to give you a choice of what chalk project you would like to do. The first one is you will need a roll of masking or painting tape, it doesn't matter what size, and the chalk. What you will be doing is creating a mosaic where you will lay the tape out into one large box. Now remember my saying, da they got a better. So I want you to lay out either, you know, four or five, rectangle cement squares on a sidewalk or lay out at least a six by four or five foot area on a driveway. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your tape out, smush it down and make sure it's sticking really well to the driveway because you wanna sweep before you do this because it'll stick better if there's not a lot of dust or dirt underneath it and create your shape. From there, you will be laying down the tape inside your square, rectangle, heart, whatever shape you have, um, to create smaller geometric shapes or words. And then within each of those shapes, you will be filling it with chalk. And you put your dried chalk on first, and then you add the water. Be careful that the water does not slide underneath the tape, okay? That is your very first project. And remember, you can use multiple colors in each of those smaller shapes. And I have examples of a mosaic. And a mosaic is when you have many small pieces that fit together to make a large piece. Your second option is to create uh, a bunch of different symbols, words, and sort of clutter them together to create a huge image that maybe has a message to people walking by. And I also have a example of what that would look like at the end of this video. I want you to have fun with the chalk and I wanna see you do some of the blending of the colors. And I would like you to send your finished works to my email or to the Westside Montessori Facebook page. I really love seeing your work and I love the fact that some of you are really taking time to do it. I know we're in the home stretch and I know school's almost over. I know it's not idea going to school online, but gosh, we're doing the best job that we can. And I hope that you are okay with everything and trudging along and finding a positive attitude for every day. Okay, I miss you and I can't wait to see your work.
Hey, one thing I forgot to tell you is I really want you to make sure that you sweep the area before you lay the tape down so it sticks really, really nicely to the cement or the asphalt and really press it down. Sometimes you might want to like kind of sketch out your design before you lay the tape down. So it is um, kind of gives you an idea of like you're doing the words of what lines to follow. And when you put the chalk in, you will... Put the chalk in dry first and lay over it with the water, but make sure that you try not to get the water underneath the tape because then you won't get those really, really straight lines when you pull the tape up, okay? All right, love you.